Hi friends, Andrea Burns. I'm coming to you from Northwest Indiana. Super excited to run this um, class with you all. I'm a senior national director with Pure Romance and I'm just now in my fifth year of business. So I'm super excited to run this class with you all. Um, and I just wanted to give you a little backstory on me and why I'm even covering this class. So I am the super proud leader of a million dollar empire. Um, shout out to the Burns babes who worked their butts off in 2020. And I worked my butt off right alongside of them. So personally, I sold $135,000 worth of retail. And I personally sponsored 101 women into the business. Now out of those 101 women, 79 of them activated their business and are working alongside of me. So I'm really excited to do this class. Um, I hope that you're ready to take some really good notes because, you know, I got some really good info for you. All right. So in this class, we're talking about some of my, my secrets to explosive growth in the business. Um, and we're hoping that in this class, you're going to learn the importance of being authentic, how to keep your funnel full, the importance of using connection to grow your team, and um, the best ways to utilize social media in a way that feels natural. So my secrets for, for explosive growth, are you ready to explode? Like that's the first thing you need to ask yourself. If you're sitting in this class, you have probably already come to some type of idea that you wanna grow a team. You want, you want a bigger, stronger team. So you've come to the right place. Um, the first thing that I would ask you to do is think of that list of systems or strategies that you've currently been using or that you've used in the past or that you've been taught before and just set those to the side for now. Some of the things that I'm going to teach you are, are kind of similar to those things, but I'm going to introduce you to some new ideas. Um, and I think they'll be super helpful. And it's possible that those old ideas that you've been using could be what's holding you back to, from growth. So take a deep breath open your mind to new ideas and get ready to take this all in. So first things first, what I want you to do is write these four things down. We're gonna use these and I want you to use these after class to hold yourself accountable. Okay, my idea of explosive growth. These are my top secret um, ingredients. As, as I like to say, secret sauce. So this is my secret sauce to sponsoring, right? Um, number one is being authentic, right? Authenticity is something that I don't think is talked about enough in our business. Um, number two, I'm gonna talk about keeping your funnel full. Number three, I'm gonna talk about something I'm very passionate about. Um, think, something that I think I have gotten down to a science uh, utilizing your social media, not, not just how to use it, but how to do it in a way that is more natural and not, not so forced. Um, and then last but not least, the importance of actually following through with this whole class. All right, so let's just dive right into it. Um, when I am, am referring to authenticity, I mean, there should be a little bit of you in every single thing that you do in your business. You know, the little, the secret sauce. Okay. If we can be 100% honest here, the only way that you can make this work is to be yourself because authenticity will always win. And when you stay true to yourself, people will be drawn to you. People respond when they feel like you're being genuine, right? Think back to how many times you probably got a message from somebody or a random friend request from someone. I know I've done it. And the first thing you think is, oh, clicking on her profile, I see she sells this and she's definitely gonna reach out to me to buy something or host a party or join her team. That's, the, that's what we're trying to get away from. We don't want people to look at you that way. We want people to see you for you. So when I'm saying be authentic, that's what I'm talking about. So I am sure that the copy and paste method that we have gotten from corporate, well, I am super grateful for it, has gotten me this far, has gotten you this far. It is not going to get you to the next level. Yes, the graphics that corporate sends us are beautiful. The scripts that corporate send us are amazing. However, we need to not use the exact verbiage, 
make it our own, add a little bit of you into it, right? Um, trust your skills, trust them, polish them up. And until you're ready to come up with your own captions, just change up the captions that they give you, right? Just put a little bit of extra, extra you into everything you post. How else are you gonna get people's attention right now, right? So in today's world, you have to let you out. You need to let people see who you really are because they have tons of people in their inbox right now. Let's be honest, social media is flooded with direct sellers. So we need to make sure that we are doing something that makes it, that sets us apart, that makes us stand out, right? We don't want someone to click on our profile, like I mentioned earlier, and realize, oh God, she's from Pure Romance. So here comes the host a party, book a, you know, host a party, join my team slogan that, that every direct seller sends. Um, we want to make sure that you're doing something to set yourself apart, right? So people are looking for someone like you. They're looking for someone to break the stigma because let's be honest, MLMs are having a hard time right now and we should be the one to prove everybody wrong. It's time to show up as your true self, your authentic self. So be unapologetic and just be who you are. Let it show through. So what does that look like on social media? I need you to just take a moment and wrap your head around the idea that sometimes it means it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable. Um, it means you're going to have to be transparent with your clients or your friends. It means you're going to have to be a little more funny, um, a little more willing to make fun of yourself, a little more relatable. So just be prepared to get uncomfortable. And what I'm going to show you next is a sneak peek into my personal um, posts on my public personal page and in my private VIP group. And I'm sure you'll be able to tell the difference as to which I post where, but I'm just gonna give you some examples of what that transparency or that, that authentic looks and feels like. All right. So I think it's super important that we let everyone that you come in contact with as far as business is concerned. I think it's very important that they get to see all sides of you, right? So I am very much aware that you are running a business, but you have to be a little, with our, with our business, you have to be different. You have to, you have to connect, right? So if you see these slides here and I'll go through and read them all, but what you probably see is, is so many different ways that I've related, right? So let's just jump over to that first one. Yo, I just oiled my dry, itchy, irritated scalp with miracle oil, instant relief. I am so mad at myself for never trying this before. Has anyone else done this? Now that was a legit post. I didn't realize how magical miracle oil actually was and put it on my scalp right when the seasons changed. And that post allowed people to relate to me and know <laughs> you're not alone in the things that you are going through as well, right? Uh, while I appear to have it all together, I have a dry itchy scalp too. <laughs> okay, so that next post, um, this next post was actually, I am, I am a mother of two children. Um, one is a 18 year old senior and we are experiencing some senior itis this year. And I also have a 13 year old eighth grader. So different chapters of their lives, but equally just as hard for me as a mother with older children as moms that have younger children or anyone who's helped with e-learning right now, because I'm sure at some point you've experienced that difficulty. Um, all right, so this next post is a way to relate on a mom level. This one was put in my private VIP group. Circle of trust. Yesterday was a hard mom day. Just wanted you to know that even when you feel like you're doing it wrong, the fact that you care enough about doing it right means you're a good mama. With the super cute, touchy motherhood, um, I guess, poem or quote, motherhood is a choice you make every day to put someone else's happiness and well-being ahead of your own, to teach the hard lessons, to do the right thing, even when you're not sure what the right thing is, and to forgive yourself over and over again for doing everything wrong. So I posted this in my VIP group, and what ended up happening was pretty beautiful. Um, the amount of love and support, and nobody pried, nobody cared to pry into why my day was so hard. All they did was shower me with love and support. So the connection that was made from that post alone, and it wasn't just me saying, hey, I'm having a hard mom day. 
that then turned into a bunch of other moms saying, oh my God, I'm having a hard mom day too. So the connection that was made from that post alone, just that one transparent post, which was kind of broad. So I didn't give too much information. I gave just enough to let them know, hey, you're not alone. I go through these things too. And then enough to, to create a support that I had never, I haven't received before. Um, so then we go into some funny stuff. <laughs> Those are actual photos of my sweatpants that I have worn all through the self-quarantine life that we've all been living. Um, <laughs> what you know about that thick thigh life, ain't no shame in my thigh game, who's with me. That, that then spiraled to a bunch of women sharing photos of their sweatpants and of their ripped jeans from rubbing together. So again, we've created that connection. Um, right on down to connecting with them as far as me being a wife. So. Well, I sent that dreaded text this AM. I needed more, I need more help around the house. Here's to hoping he just says, okay, baby, wishful thinking. That post turned into all of the women in my VIP group, literally hanging on the edge of their seat, waiting for his reply. And he did not disappoint. Um, and then last but not least, again, showing another amazing product, never leave home without it. And if you're not familiar with this one, this is the womanizer. I had three in my stock that I had not sold yet. And I purposely put this in my bag when I went on the yacht trip because I knew that at some point I was either gonna take a picture holding the womanizer in front of the ocean or in my room. And I did it in my room and used that post to sell three more products. Um, but all of these things, every one of these posts allows them to connect with me in some in, in, in different levels, right? They're seeing different sides of me. They're connecting with me. They're relating to me. It's, it's authentic. It feels natural. It does not feel forced, right? So when I say I want you to be more authentic, this is what I'm referring to. And your life doesn't have to be perfect to make them like you. They will like you more if they know that you are not perfect. And none of us are. So you don't have to paint the picture that you are. Okay. Next, let them in. Super important. Um, and this is one of my favorite uh, ways to kind of keep my girls on track is to make sure that they know that they've got to do certain things to keep everyone, um, can, I know I keep saying connected, but it's just so important that they feel a connection because when they feel the connection, the trust comes and then business just flourishes after that. So I know that you've been trained to be professional at all times. I know it. People are looking to connect right now and they are inviting us into the most private part of their lives. Why not show them who you really are? Okay, yes, you are the CEO of your own business. Yes, you set the rules, but the type of business that we are in requires a different approach than the ones that you've seen you know, outside of us. We don't sell makeup. We don't sell storage containers. We sell intimate products and we ask them intimate questions, right? When I say a different approach, I mean, I'm, I'm circling back again to that connection. And I hope that that word is now drilled into your head, <laughs> but we need them to feel the connection with you because of the, the privacy that we are asking them to share with us. So when they see you, when they connect with you, they will like you, right? When they like you, they will not only shop with you, they will send their friends to you. And eventually they will join your team. It all starts with that connection and that trust. So be authentic and you cannot go wrong. Some more that comes from being authentic. It makes it easier to fill all of your funnels, right? Who doesn't want more customers for outside orders? Who doesn't want more parties? Who doesn't want more prospects? So the more authentic you are, the easier it is to fill all of those different funnels. But again, for this class, we're focusing on your funnel of prospects. The sooner that they see you as a person and not a sales rep, the better. So let's talk about keeping your prospect funnel full. Um, you should know at this point what a funnel means, what it, what, it, it, what it is that I'm referring to when I say the word funnel, but if not, I'll just touch on that briefly. Your funnel is your running list of prospects or anyone who has shown interest in joining your pure romance team. It's a staple in your business. 
but your funnel really holds no power if you aren't doing the work, right? So you can have a list of names and you can be super organized and all of that, and it can look all good on the outside, but if you're not doing the work with the funnel, what's the point, right? So you still will have to post about your um, kit sales. I post about kit sales every single time we have them, but on top of that kit sale post, I will also use my funnel for more effective follow-up. And that is referring to private messaging, ladies. We're gonna to touch on that in a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna tell you a couple different ways or remind you, because these are all things that you've heard before. I'm gonna remind you of a couple different ways that you can fill your funnel from scratch or you know, when you feel like it's, it's depleting a little to help refill the funnel, right? There are a lot of ways to fill your funnel. My three favorites, um, when in doubt, go back to basics. And my three favorite ways to fill my funnel, and, and don't get me wrong, like I, at one point in my business this past year, I felt like, who else am I going to sign? I've literally signed everyone on my leads list. Where do I go now, right? So it happens to everybody in the business. <laughs> don't, don't feel bad. Um, but my three back to basics that I really love, and you can find these on the training website, go to training.pureromance.com, click on the resource tab and search. That is my favorite. Um, host a scavenger hunt, 40 guests in four minutes, who do you know list, right? And these are three tools that you can actually use with your um, hostess to help her build her invite list. And that's, you know, multi-purpose, right? So you can use it for that, but I love to use it for this. Um, growing, refilling my funnel, because there's a lot of people as the more that you party, you're going to miss people. And now that we're partying online, you're meeting way more people, you're going to miss somebody, right? And these three printouts will help you think outside of the box of the people that are sitting right in front of you. We want to make sure that we reach those people that aren't in front of your face every day or up and down your newsfeed every day, because there's a lot of people that you're not seeing. Okay. So your funnel will run dry if you are not actively working to fill it. Okay, the number one way to fill your funnel, these are just some more ideas. The number one way to fill your funnel is to book more parties. Number two, I love to go live on social media. I will go live in my private VIP group. I will go live on my personal page, which is public. I will go live with my husband. I will go live with my daughter. I will go live with my nieces. I will go live with anybody. You get a way better audience when you have a guest on your live. So make a note of that. Um, going live about many things, not just business stuff, but the real life stuff. Like um, when COVID first hit and my daughter and I were just kind of stuck in the house alone together, we did our own little cooking show. And the amount of women or moms that I connected with because of that, I'm telling you, right back to that word connection. Um, <clears throat> so going live on social media about anything <clears throat> keeps you in front of people. That's the point. You want to stay in front of them. You want them to constantly see you. Another thing that you can also do is asking for referrals from your current clients. Um, I'm not a fan of friending random people on Facebook. That's never been how I run my business. I don't do it that way because I don't want to run into someone else's clientele because nine times out of 10, the people on the people you may know list are mutual friends with somebody that you're friends with. And I'm certain that you're already friends with other consultants. So I don't like to step on those toes. I do, however, love to ask people for referrals, right? So tag five friends that you think would be a, a fun hostess or add five friends into my VIP group or, so I love to ask for referrals. <clears throat> I don't, I don't prefer adding random people. Okay, and then last but not least, you guessed it, book more parties. Um, the answer is always book more parties. Like write that down, highlight it, circle it, put a star next to it. When in doubt, book more parties. <laughs> All right, just commit to the process. Follow me through. Okay, it's one thing to have a funnel. It's another thing to have a system or some kind of way to track your funnel, right? So I'm going to tell you about these three ways that I think are effective ways to track your funnel. And you just pick kind of what you connect with. Um, let's just start from the top. So the hot leads list, right? No matter what you use, you have to have a system. I am a pen and paper gal. 
I am a self-proclaimed nerd. I love a pen and paper. I love to cross out. I love to check mark. I love to highlight. So my hot leads list is a small notebook that fits in my purse so it can go with me everywhere I go. I'm a mother. I'm constantly moving. There's always something that I need to do for my children, always somewhere that I need to be sitting while they're doing something. So this stays on me at all times. My hot leads list, it's, it's literally like my little black book, right? You all know what I'm talking about. So I use that to keep track of people. And the only time that I cross someone out is when they join my team. And I just put one line through so I can still see their name. But the only time they get crossed out is when they join my team. And I'm sure if they said, leave me alone, don't contact me again, I'd probably cross them off the list too. But that hasn't happened yet. So that's good news, right? Okay. So the second way that I can suggest to keep track of your funnel is the money train group. <clears throat> if you've never heard of the money train group, please, when this class is over or when success summit is over, get on the YouTube channel, search for Leanne Rhodes money train. She is a genius, right? I got all of my ideas from her. And not only that, you can also go to training.pureromance.com and search money train. Um, they'll give you some really good posts. So I don't need to touch on that. But the main thing that I want you to realize is that with the money train group, all of your prospects go right in that group. I ask permission. I tell them, hey, I'm going to put you in a group of all the ladies that are thinking about joining my team. Is that okay? Done and done. Put them in the group. And then if you use that for anything else, it's almost like a digital list. And I will go through the members in the group and just message everyone right from that members list every time we have a kit sale. Super easy. These ladies, <clears throat> they all go in here and their cell phone number goes right next to it. So I love to text and I love to direct message and I'm touching them two different ways. So I use two different tools. Um, use one that works for you. Last but not least is the spreadsheet. I've recently learned how to use spreadsheets this year and wish I would have learned this sooner. Um, so my inner nerd is like doing cartwheels every time I open up a spreadsheet because now it's color coded and it's beautiful. But if spreadsheets are not your thing, use the money train group. And if you don't feel like you're on Facebook enough, you need to step it up and get on there more. But if you're a pen and paper person, use the hot leads list. There's lots of ways, but you have to have a system. You can't just have a list and do nothing with it. You have to have a system. And what I do with my system is every single time there is a kit sale, water break one. every single time that there is a kit sale. I post about it on my personal page, but I run down that list and send every single woman a private message, right? So that message looks something like this. And this is my suggestion, change it up however you like, but there's a couple key phrases that I want you to just save. Okay, <clears throat> hi, name, always use their name, always use their name, right? Um, it's more, connect they feel more connected. They feel like it was not copy paste. Hi, name. I hope you had a great holiday with the family. <clears throat> I wanted to reach out because I know you're interested in joining our team, but the timing wasn't quite right. Was that still something you were considering? <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Wait for the reply, be authentic, have conversation, go back and forth for a little bit. Don't just jump right into the next business question. Take your time for them to feel connected. There's that word again. I feel like that word is on repeat. Okay. If they say yes, at some point you're going to say, we have a huge kit sale coming up and it's for a very limited time. Do you want to check out those details? Again, wait for the reply, have a genuine conversation with them. If she says yes, I am a huge fan of creating your own graphics for kit sales. Corporate sends us absolutely beautiful um, photos, right? Use all the photos that corporate sends you. What I like to do is, so these kit photos are from my personal website. Super easy to make. I went to my personal website. I saved a photo of each kit. I put it into one picture. Boom, bam, done, beautiful. I, I could be making this up, but I feel like making your own kit graphic, you know, clean, classy, professional, helps. It helps. This also puts everything into perspective. So there's a reason that I list premium first. So premium to deluxe, to standard, to social seller when social seller is available, right? But 
premium is because I want them to see the value in choosing the premium kit. I want them to see the actual product value because comparing that premium even to that deluxe, it looks like a huge difference, right? Price-wise, pretty small compared to the amount of products you're getting from one kit to the next. Um, but when she says yes and she wants details, you're gonna send over your graphic and then you're gonna give her some time, right? Let her come up with some questions. Ask her what her concerns are. Have that actual conversation with her. Help her figure out what she's thinking or feeling, right? And it's really important that you are not pushy. Super important to not be pushy because the moment that someone feels pressure is the moment that they say no. Think about it. Has it, has it ever happened to you, right? The moment that someone feels pressured and I don't do to people what I don't want done to me. So when I'm having conversations with them, I'm talking to them like I would want someone to talk to me, right? Really important. Um, I would love for everyone to adopt a more laid back approach instead of that urgency. Now, now, now. I want you to have a more of a, I, it's totally okay, girl. If you're not ready, it's okay. Okay. Are we ready for the next slide? If she's on the fence, and this one I feel is like a game changer, right? If she is on the fence, dun, dun, dun. this is my favorite line. Do you trust me? Because if you are willing to try this out, I will not steer you wrong. There's a lot happening in this one small phrase here, a lot. You're reminding her that she is not alone. You're reminding her that you're going to teach her the things that she needs to know to run a successful business. And you're instilling a little bit more reassurance that she is absolutely capable of this. This is a game changer. This is one of those that you should write down. Write this one down too. If she is not ready, my favorite reply, I totally understand. When you are ready, I will be here because I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I'm a lifer, I'm in this for life. When you are ready, I will be here. So do you want me to reach out to you with the next kit sale? Did you see what happened in that last sentence? We're gonna to touch on that. So a lot is happening in this short conversation. I'm sure that you can see that number one, I'm not a fluffer. Women know when they are being fluffed, <laughs> right? So they know um, when you're doing the, uh, hey, how you doing? Join my team. <laughs> they know when that's coming, right? Um, especially because direct sellers are coming out of the woodworks for so many companies. Um, get to the point of your message, but do it in a friendly way. And you still want to have the small conversation like, you know, how are your holidays? Because that just passed. How are your holidays? Or, you know, how's the family? Or I saw the photos of the kids, whatever. You still want to find a way to connect, right? So small talk is good, but not fluff, right? Next is that I want you to know that I'm not pushy. So don't be pushy. They will join when they are ready. I constantly reassure them that they're in good hands, but I never make them feel bad for saying no, right? Um, there will be times when I feel like a woman needs a little bit of, um, of an extra, you know, tap because I can tell they want to say yes, but for some reason, they're just pampering themselves to do it. Um, but don't forget that line, my favorite line, do you trust me? Um, they also, this also works for me because, and I've heard this on numerous occasions, numerous I've heard this so many times. They feel important, right? And they feel important because I remember them. And I remember them because I have a list. I can't even tell you how many times a woman has said to me, you do so much, like you have so much on your plate, yet you still think of me every time the kids go on sale. I asked for her permission. I remember her because I use my list. So the next time a kid sale hits, I'm sending her a message. Okay. And then last but not least, I am not the crazy sales lady who only reaches out when kits are on sale because before we ended that prior conversation, I said, do I have your permission? And she says, yes. I've not had anybody tell me no. Um, so I know that you've been trained not to just reach out when the kits go on sale, but doing it this way makes it more comfortable to reach out every time the kits go on sale. Okay. So now let's talk about social media and how to utilize it in a more comfortable way or a more natural way and how to also use it to boost your business. First things first, 
I am a huge fan of mastering more than one social media platform. So what you're seeing here is a photo of my Facebook profile and a photo of my Instagram profile. Um, notice again, my profile picture on both, I'm OCD, they match, right? So my profile picture is me on both screens. Um, my cover photo on my Facebook is my children. Those, that's a very old photo of them. I had a soft mom moment. So I had made it my um, cover photo and it worked because tons of people commented on it about how cute they were and they can't believe how big they are now. So it worked, um, strummed up some engagement, but okay, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> the reason that I want you to master two social media outlets is because you're gonna have people that will work Facebook and not touch Instagram or people who love Instagram and barely use Facebook, right? So when you master at least two platforms, just two, and there's tons out there to choose from, I suggest mastering two. My favorite two are Instagram and Facebook. Yes, I have tons of others, but the two that I spend the most time on or put in the most work on are Instagram and Facebook. And I like to say that my Instagram is where I connect with new people. My Facebook is where I stay connected with my current people, right? So. Nine times out of 10, when I'm friends with somebody on Instagram, we somehow end up connected on Facebook. So they're going to end up in my VIP group or in my money train group. They're going to stay connected with me. It all works together. Okay. So um, here I'm going to give you, you know, write these down or take a picture. I'm going to give you some of my favorite social media tips um, as someone who believes, you know, they're pretty damn good at social media. Okay, so number one is that you need to post every single day. It's so important that you post every single day because you don't want to go, you want to be in their newsfeed, right? Every time somebody scrolls, you want them to see your face. Every time. Post every day in your personal group or on your personal page and in your private VIP at least once a day. I suggest more than one post a day in your VIP, but at least once a day in your VIP groups. You want to stay in front of them. Um, also important that you reply to every single comment. I know it seems tedious. I know it seems ridiculous, but you should reply to every single comment because it helps your algorithm. It helps you stay in front of them. It works. It works. Um, another tip is to go live. Go live often. I do love to go live. I love to go live with a guest. Um, I love to allow my viewers to ask my guests questions. My husband, I get the most views when my husband is my guest. The most. And especially when I do ask me about my business or ask my husband about my business, the views are insane. Um, the comments are insane and the banter that goes back and forth, it's just great. Um, so go live. And if you're nervous about going live, bring on a guest because a guest will get you more views. Um, all right, next tip is that I know corporate gives us beautiful graphics. I know it, I love them, they're gorgeous. I use all of them, um, but I don't just use them. Every single time I place an order, every single time I get stuff, in the, in the brown UPS box, a selfies for days. I'm sure you can see my uh, selfie light in the background there, selfies for days. So I use my sunlight with my big window and I use my selfie light with a little bit of the orange on there to give a different feel. But I will hold a product next to my face every single time I get an order because I don't want them to just remember pure romance. I want them to remember I'm their pure romance girl. I am connecting my face to the brand. They're never going to forget pure romance, right? And if they forget me, they can Google pure romance and then find another random consultant. I want them to remember me. You get it? Take more selfies. Post more photos of you holding product. It's a game changer. Um, and then something that should go without being said, but most, you know, most new consultants or fresh consultants or up and coming leaders don't necessarily realize how important it is that your profile picture should be you. Um, Nobody next to you, not you holding a baby, not you with your girlfriends. If you want that photo to be seen, make it your cover photo, but your actual profile photo, which is your thumbnail photo, which is the first thing they see when they search your name on Facebook, it should just be you. A beautiful, happy, smiling you. And if you're holding a product, even better. Okay. Um, and then one of my all-time favorite things is that when you are on social media, you have got to be a cheerleader. You have to be. And we're gonna to touch on that a little bit later but you have got to be a cheerleader. You have to be that super bright, funny, happy person. And if you don't feel super bright, funny, and happy that day, go grab a, co a quote from Pinterest and put that up on your wall because you can also 
be that motivation or encouragement or inspiration. If you're having a bad day, totally normal. We all do it. But instead of me going to Facebook and saying I'm having a bad day, except for those posts in my private VIP group, my personal page, instead of me saying, you know, my friends did me wrong, my heart is broken. I go on Pinterest and I find a quote that relates to what I'm feeling and makes me feel better. And I put that up instead. And I'm still transparent because I say something like, I needed this and I figured somebody else needed it too. Done. I'm still a ray of sunshine, even though I'm not having a great day. See what I did there? Okay. And then last but not least, super important to make your, your social media work for you is that you can never go MIA. You cannot go missing in action. You've got to stay in front of them. And while it seems crazy, and while you may be saying to yourself, I don't have time to do all that on social media. If you want your business to grow, whether it be money in your pocket or members on your team, you've got to use social media. You have to, especially right now. So if you feel like you don't have time for it, you better make time, make a schedule, put it in that schedule and make it happen. Okay, I'm rambling. Next slide. Let's talk about the new 80-20 rule. And this, again, is my suggestion, right? So do with it what you will, but I'm telling you it works for me. We've been taught, right, <clears throat> that the 80-20 rule is when you post about your personal life 80% of the time and your business 20% of the time. So that's what we've been taught as far as how to use the 80-20 rule, right? Okay. Do me a favor, take a, pull your phone out, take a mental scroll, whatever. If you scroll your profile, so if you were to go to your profile, there's a way that you can click on to see what, what your visitors see. If you scroll your profile, are you posting enough? Are you the copy paste poster child? And are you puking pure romance all over your profile, right? And by puking pure romance, I mean, there's not a single picture of you but there are tons of pictures of all of those graphics that corporate sends us. <laughs> all right, we don't wanna be that person. Here's my idea of the new 80-20 rule. Instead of 80% personal, 20% business, what if, what if 80% of your posts were dropping seeds, 20% of your posts are actually asking for business? Did anybody just have a light bulb go off? Because you can talk about your business 100% of the time and not be super annoying. I do it all day. So what's the difference? Dropping seeds are when you share what your business has done for you in a genuine and organic way, right? A way that feels natural, a way that doesn't feel like, look what Pure Romance has done for me. But if they know you're the Pure Romance girl and you're sharing the things that have happened because of Pure Romance, you don't even have to throw in there what pure romance has done for me. Um, asking for business means that we are directly asking for a call to action, book a party, buy a product, or become a consultant. So that's basically the difference between dropping a seed and asking for business. So check out some of these samples or examples, sorry, on these next slides. Okay, so these are some examples about um, dropping seeds, right? So we're planting the seeds about what pure romance can do for you, but doing it in a way where it's not too outspoken, I guess. All right, so the first one that I'm gonna read to you is just a way to show them that business is booming and it's not what they think it is. I could laugh every time someone says, I don't need those things you sell. How many times have you heard that? With a turned up nose. This is only a portion of my sales from this weekend and only five items are toys. We are so much bigger than that. Curious, I'm happy to tell you all about it and I'm certain you'll be pleasantly surprised. Sexual health is important. Self-love is important. Self-care is important. Healthy sex is important. Pure romance with my hashtag and you'll see my hashtag on all of my posts, the Burns Boss. So I schooled them on what I do in a very gentle way because I'm sure you've heard it at this point. I don't need what you sell. I'm sure you have, but it will never benefit you to be snippy with those people. Never, never. All right, the next post. So that shows them number one, business is booming because I sold all of that product in one weekend. And number two, for the ladies that think I can't sell sex toys, look at how much I've sold that is not sex toys. Dropping seeds. 
Okay, so next one is about a little bit of recognition. Ooh, Christmas gift from Patty and Chris, sticking this one under the tree. And people on my page know exactly who Patty and Chris are because I tell you I'm talking about pure romance all of the time. But again, you see the hashtags, the Burns Boss and Pure Romance. <clears throat> Next one is also showing how much fun you can have while you do this. There is literally no denying how much I love my job. I am so grateful that I have found my calling. Tonight's party was so fun. Again, with my hashtag, the Burns Boss and Pure Romance. And again, you can see that these are all my personal photos. None of these are stock photos. These are all my personal photos. And that one with, um, that was a Halloween party that I had done with my little devil ears. Um, my personal photos. And again, I think it's super important that they, they see your stuff, not just corporate stock images. Um, so that one is showing how fun your work can be. And then of course, the way you can treat yourself. Today was Lash Day. So happy for a fresh volume set. Thank you to Shauna, who is my lash girl, for always taking such good care of me and my lashes. And I'm grateful for the extra cash to treat myself every month. So also using the Burns Boss hashtag there. Um, and then last but not least, showing the connection and the sisterhood that we have with the company, because most women, you know, there's a lot of women looking for this as well. I am home from our fourth annual team retreat, and I am in a whirlwind of emotions. 20 babes showed up for themselves this weekend. They gave their undivided attention for three days and brought the best energy to the house. I am honored to have been able to witness breakthroughs, new bonds, reconnection, and genuine love between these women. I know my title is leader, but it's so much bigger than that for me. These ladies pick me up as much as I pick them up. They cheer for me. They push me. They care for me. I wouldn't change a thing. Cheers to 2020, leaving 2020 with a bang and welcoming 2021 with open arms and motivation. 2020 re retreat was a complete success. So I'm showing them all of the different ways that pure romance can, or what different things pure romance can do for them, but I'm doing it in different ways, right? So these posts are examples of actually asking for business, right? So first up is, have you been thinking about joining my team? This is our final kit sale of the year, one day only. I have a deal just for you. Drop a heart if you have thought about it, even for a second. I'm just gonna keep reading through these and then I'm gonna share something that's super important. We are over here changing lives, friends. Almost 20 women have jumped in today and we have room for more. You'll fit right in. What are you waiting for? You can start your own pure romance business for as low as $39. Okay, so those are two to get them interested in the business, right? Then I have a post about selling product. Again, my personal photos. Then you'll also see the post with the hearts. And this post is available in the social media success group, the corporate run group, had really good um, re response, booked tons of parties from this one. It's a really simple pick a heart, get a prize. Um, but still, even when they comment on this one, I reply to every comment. So when they reply, I send them a message and then come back to the post and say, I sent you a message or check your inbox. And then last but not least, incentivizing them to shop on my personal page with coupon codes because everyone gets a coupon code now from corporate um, to help me hit my goals. So here's the thing. Even if you get no action on your post, you still have to post. The number of people that are watching and not saying anything, it, it's, it's insane. So just trust the process. Stick to it. Drop your seeds 80%. Ask for business 20%. Why is it not letting me change? Oh, there we go. Okay, so party, party, and party some more. Parties are the best place to meet new people. And when in doubt, the answer is always book more parties. Like I cannot stress that enough. Now that we're partying virtually, you can meet people from all over and not just an hour away, like when you were driving out to do parties. So find a virtual party format that works for you and actually do it. Get rid of the idea that virtual parties is not your thing. It is your thing. Make it your thing. Find a way to make it your thing, right? Okay. If you're not doing virtual parties, you're missing out on a lot of business. A lot of business. Um, some really important tips for every virtual party. Add every guest as a friend that says yes or maybe. Anybody that says no, I don't even bother. I don't take it personal and I don't bother. And then I invite them to my VIP group immediately. And also super important that for every virtual party, Every virtual party, I am playing a sponsoring commercial or game. 
All right. My favorite game to play, ask me about my business. And it's really important that this is just for business specific questions, not product questions and offer incentives, right? So I play this at the end of every single virtual party and on Facebook before or after, before or during kit sales. And sometimes on my personal page, sometimes in my VIP group, sometimes with a guest, sometimes by myself. My format to this is always the same for every party though. I post a teaser, I have them drop their questions, and then I answer their questions on the live. So whether it is through a party or through a, a random Facebook live that I decide to do where they're asking me about my business, I post the teaser and ask them to drop them there. And then I answer the questions live. It also helps to incentivize them, right? So incentivizing them by having them putting their name in a hat, right? So here, if we look at the second one, I am an open book, ask me anything and I'll answer right here. So some of them I go live, some of them I answer right on the post. I will answer on the post and then go live. Um, when we get to 25 questions, I'll raffle off a bottle of our bestseller. Always posting a, a teaser and incentivizing them to ask questions, right? They're gonna come up with questions that they didn't know they wanted to know. You're gonna have people that have been watching you, seeing these questions and seeing the answers that they needed to see, but were too afraid to ask. There's a, always a method to my madness. Always. Okay. So be a cheerleader. Your vibe attracts your tribe. If you see this photo, this is my very small portion of my lovely team. Um, these are the ladies that showed up to our team retreat pat this past November. Um, my tribe. And we vibe and we love on each other. And we, we've created a sisterhood that none of us knew that we needed. Okay, so now let's talk about what now, right? I have learned all of these new things. I am super excited. What do I do now, <laughs> right? You have tons of notes, I'm sure, from this class, from other classes. Commit to the process, detach from the outcome. When I very first met Chris, Chris Chickenelli, there were a couple of things that he said to me that stood out, and this quote is one of them. This is one of the quotes that I have actually wrote out and put on my desk. If I could turn my camera, I would put it on my desk and I see it every day. Commit to the process, detach from the outcome. In this class, you've learned the importance of being authentic, how to keep your funnel full, the importance of connection to grow your team and the best ways to utilize social media. You have what it takes, right? As cliche as it sounds, friends, I hope that you know that I was once sitting in your seat feeling the way that you're feeling, wanting it so bad and not knowing that I could do it, right? But here I am doing it. And I'm not saying that because I'm bragging. I'm saying that because if I can do it, you can do it. It sounds so cliche and corny. I get it. But it's real life. I, I've implemented systems. I've made a schedule. I stick to it. I put my blinders on. I literally put my blinders on and I, I don't compare, but I've created good, healthy habits, a schedule. I stick to the plan, commit to the process. You owe it to the people who believe in you, but more than that, you owe it to yourself, right? You have everything it takes to get all of those big wins out of this business, like all of the other big names in this business. That is my time. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this class. Um, and yeah, we, we hope that your notes are, your pen is on fire right now, or your paper is on fire because your notes were, were insane. Um, good luck, friends. 2021 is yours. <laughs>